Welcome back, fellow investors. In this video, I'm going to cover seven stocks within the financial sector that are really doing well, rewarding investors. And I think they have more room to run. The financial uh, sector was really impacted in 2023 by two big things. One is rising interest rates. It really make banks and other financial companies rethink their businesses. And then second, the big scare, the Silicon Valley Bank uh, collapse that happened in the late spring really caused investors to be really fearful of this space. And that really opened up an opportunity if stocks were really discounted for no fundamental reason, it really created an opportunity for an active value investor, which is what I am. I really put a lot of thought into this sector, you know, six to eight months ago and really captured a couple of investments that have really paid off. And I'd like to share those with you. Let me get into the video, give you a, a sector analysis of the financial space, go into industries, and then highlight seven companies that are really doing well. Do me a favor and like my video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Love to hear what you think of the financial uh, sector. And please, uh, just a quick reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an individual investor just sharing with the community on YouTube my experience. None of what I'm talking about is financial advice. I'm not making any recommendation of buying any company that I cover. Now let's get into this. Every year, the market will have particular sectors and industries that are really well-priced. They're priced at a discount. They're an opportunity to buy a stock that's going to go up in value. And that's when the price is significantly down when there's a lot of value in that particular company. And that's really what I'm talking about today. And within financials, they have been beaten down and they were beaten down for no apparent reason other than fear. There were fundamental reasons why the companies I'm going to cover were beaten down, but it really provided a, an opportunity to buy when prices were really discounted and wait for the market to recognize it and then have the market raise the value of my investment. Looking at all sectors, I sorted this by the sector that is doing the best over the last month. And then uh, which whichever sector is doing the worst is in the last place here. Number one is technology. And I certainly have a lot of investments in technology that's doing great. But here is financials. Over the last month, it's number two ahead of every mm -hmm. other sector. And the value investor should perk up when they see that, hey, it has been sold off over the past year. It has been discounted. And that's where really the opportunity be begins to dig in and see if there's companies that I could buy at a discount. Within the financial sector, there are these industries from banks all the way to mortgage REITs. I'm going to focus on looking at companies within banks, capital, consumer finance, and insurance. These sectors, when we look at them, over the last five days, they're doing really good. Banks are red hot. Over the last five days, they're up 6.45%. And over the course of the year, they're down 10.5%, uh, year to date down 5%. Again, it's that Silicon Valley Bank scare that really drove investors out of this space. Capital markets is doing really well, uh, both on the five-day over the last month, they're up 5%. Consumer finance, it's really bounced back. It's up 4% over five days, 5% over the last month. Insurance, over the last three months, it's up almost 8%. Pays, these guys pay really good dividends. And I really like where insurance is headed. Looking at over the last uh, couple of years with this particular sector, the sector did great coming out of COVID, just phenomenal returns. But really, the last year and a half, two years, it's been fairly flat. And more recently, with that Silicon Valley Bank scare, it really scared off investment right here. It recovered some of it, but it really dropped again. And more recently, it really rallied. So I think it's a space that has a lot of opportunity for a value investor. And I'm going to show you seven stocks that I... Uh, began to invest in and have really paid off.
The first bank that I'm going to cover is Midland States Bank. This is a small mid-sized bank operating out of the Midwest, doing a lot of business in the farming community. They're headquartered in Illinois. And uh, so this bank here, over the last you know year to date and the prior year, it's really been beaten down. But if you look at the last six months, it is flying high up 26.8%. Over the last three months, up 7%. In the last month, over 14%. So these are just really showing that these banks are really taking off. And it makes sense because there was so much fear in the market in 2023 over banks that I think it was overdone. Based on the most recent price where uh, Midland States Bank was is trading, I still have the bank trading at a 26% discount while paying a really nice dividend over 5%. I have a detailed video on Midland States Bank, and I'll put a link to the full video in the description of this video. And I'll put a, a link to all of the, the companies I'm going to cover on this video in the description if you want more details on any one of these companies. So Midland States Bank really shows, hey, this is really the recipe of value investment success is looking where stocks have been beaten down, if anything, just for the reason of fear. And looking at the fundamentals and seeing, hey, I could buy some really good value and see that value reward me with a very good return. Next company is US Bank. And it's uh, interesting that the bank I was banking with here in Southern California, it was a, a small bank. It got acquired by U.S. Bank, and that's how I got introduced to the bank. And I saw that they were growing, especially their top line. They were growing really well. And again, they are looking like Midland states that I just covered, you know, uh, for, over the long haul. They've really been beaten down. But boy, the rally in U.S. Bank over the last six months, 31 percent, up 31 percent over the last six months. Over the last month, it's up more than 15 percent. It's had a really nice five-day run, up 10%. So U.S. Bank pays over a 5% dividend, and it's appreciating this quickly. So it's a really, really nice buy that I had this year. Looking at the most current stock price, I still have U.S. Bank discounted by 32% based on my analysis. And you can see the detailed analysis if you look at the description of the video and click on the link for, for U.S. Bank. Let's switch our attention to insurance companies. Insurance companies, I believe, are going to be doing well going forward because we have higher interest rates. Insurance companies collect premiums from all the policyholders, and they hold a lot of capital that they then invest. Well, they can invest now and make more money on that investment, and all states certainly doing that. If we look at year to date, it's a stock that really has been, you know, been held back to some extent. But over the last six months, it's up 15%. Over the last three months, it's up 22%. So it's really taken off. And I think 2024 is very uh, good for, for Allstate. I think the stock's uh, discounted by uh, quite a bit. I have a 63% discount on Allstate. And you can look at the detailed analysis. Again, I don't recommend you buy any of the stocks I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, reviewing this is all my investing uh, process. This is my journey, and this is what I'm doing. So please weigh your decisions carefully as you look at investing it in any company. The next insurance company is more of a life insurance company, and they also help people really organize their retirements. They, they sell annuity products and things that are easier for, I would say, the typical person to buy Prudential. And again, they've been beaten down for the last two years. But over the last six months, they're up 21%. And they pay a really high dividend, over 5%. So you win two ways, big dividend, uh, high uh, appreciation of the stock shares. And I looked at you know Prudential very recently. I have a, a video on my channel that I, I did. I still see a 61% discount on Prudential, looking at, at the most current stock price. Now, look at, let me look at a financial services company, and the company is Stone Co. And Stone Co. provides financial services down in Brazil. They're a high-growth company. They're really exciting. And uh, you know, over the last year, they're up 32%. Year-to-date, they're up 47%. But you see this volatility. Just six months ago, they offered a really nice discount, and you would have gone up 42% if you had bought Stone Co., and as I analyze Stone Co., I've, I've been a buyer of Stone Co. for a few years. High growth on the top line, high cash flow generation, and they have a huge addressable market. So there's a lot of things to like 
in Stone Co. I looked at the company and I have a 28% discount remaining on Stone Co. And part of why the discount's a little low is it's just really run up nicely. So it's a it's a really good stock for me to keep track of. I'm not buying more shares currently because the stock has really gone up. But if it falls, if this stock price goes down at all, I buy. Now let's look at the capital markets industry within the financial sector. And the company that I'm so glad I bought is Coinbase. Coinbase is the leader, the clear leader in cryptocurrency exchanges. And they have been doing great. Year to date, they're up 180%. So it's been really fun to see that investment just close to double in value in a short period of time. And really, the, just the rally continues. And again, I think the, your look, you know, as I look at a, as a value investor, as I look at a company that I want to own, I want them to be different, to have a moat, to generate a lot of free cash to be growing, to have a huge addressable market. And all those boxes are checked with Coinbase. I know it's a, a very different investment. It's a whole different space, but I'm really glad that I invested in Coinbase. And this will always, or I should say for the foreseeable future, this will be a company that I'm going to track. I think they could be worth a lot of money if cryptocurrencies become a portion of the payment currencies for the world. If they become a significant portion of the payment uh, payments of the world, they're going to be so valuable. So it's a pretty good bet that's really paying off. Uh, it's a good bet for the future, and it's really paying off in the short term. Now let's look at a company that's in the consumer finance space within the financial sector, and that's Alley Financial. That's best known for doing car financing, but they really have diversified. They do mortgage lending. They do uh, a high interest um, a banking account. Uh, they, they do a variety of products and they are doing just great. Year to date, they're doing 12%. These guys pay a high dividend, by the way. And then six months, they're up 10%. Over the last five days, they're up 7%. So a really nice rally, obviously, is happening in financials, the financial sector. And all these companies are flourishing at the current time. My evaluation of Alley is there's still about a 59% discount on this stock and they pay a really high dividend. So each year there tends to be a sector and some industries that get left behind and the value investor that finds that value that's, that's discounted significantly gets rewarded. I feel like I found one in the financial sector and I'm glad that I bought shares in the companies that I just uh, reviewed. I'm really being rewarded over the short term. Last year, I picked up Meta, you know, at a really low price. It was trading for $80. Now it's above $300. I bought really good companies in technology that were kind of left for dead in 2022. And that's exactly, you know, the same thing I'm doing here with financial companies is if the market is fearful of banks and financial institutions, it doesn't quite understand how interest rates are going to impact these companies, is I invest my time and kind of studying how it's going to impact banks, the high interest rates, studying to see which banks are healthy and doing well and growing and serving their, their markets well. And then based on that analysis, making a decision based on principle and fundamentals when the market is scared and I get to buy stocks at a really good discount. So it's a process. It's, it's really fun to do once everything comes together. I'm constantly learning. And this year, I think the financial sector was an opportunity that I seized. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'd love to get comments from you. Love to hear if you're invested in some financial services companies or financial sector companies. I'd love to hear your performance as well. Do me a favor and like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching. Good luck investing.